What's up, my precious little pack, and welcome back to Vega Conflict. Today I have the highlights reel from the recent Civil War. I have an interesting thing coming up. We have the Smash and Grab that actually starts today, and I was unaware that they were actually running in the middle of the month now, as well as after the Alliance War. I, I can't remember if we had two last month or just one. But the quick prize list review is go for the blueprints before anything else. And if you feel like you can't produce the blueprints but you can fit ships, go for the ships. It just depends on what you need and how you see it. Now if you can't even produce or build Axis tech, you can always fall back down to Xenodivision tech. And prizes the same as always. We have way down here we have the Redeemer missiles, the harmonic beam capacitors, and things like that. And Talonite plating. Joy oh joy. I still don't see any Altarian tokens or anything like that. And the only thing I'm going to be going for is resources because I'm running fairly low on most of my resources. But let's just do this right. Recommended prizes. First off, Paladin Carrier Blueprint, Paladin Carrier the Blank Hall, Guardian Cruiser Blueprint, and the matching blank. The Enforcer Battle? No, let's actually go with what I use Liberator Destroyer and the Blank Hall. Now, the next one is up to you because. They are in my fleets, but I, aside from the reactor bonuses, I don't see much benefit in having them in my fleets because of how I fly right now. But Pegasus and the Blank Hall. Now, if you want to go for the traditional that everybody does, you can go for the battleships. And I can't say weaponry or anything like that because there's no weaponry unless you go to Pegasus, then you'd go at the matching reactors, which are the harmonic agility. Warfare and Siege Reactor, and the Redeemer Missile of 1 level 2, and they also have the heavier Redeemer Missile, you can buy it 12 times for a total, and well, honestly, again, that just depends on what you're using. But that all aside, final prize would be resources, whichever one you need the most of, or time tokens if you're producing Axis ships, or Xeno ships just depends and again we're still waiting on our t on the Altarian tokens we still don't see any but that's all I wanted to talk about real quick and that's gonna be it for this video everybody yeah. and I'm tired I'm definitely going to sleep after this alright but that's gonna be it for this video everybody I know this is going to be fairly short because I didn't collect many PvP clips or anything like this that this time around. But I hope you do enjoy it anyways, and as always, I'll see you later.